Hello, family and friends. Welcome in to your spiritual nourishment. I am the Shaman Empress, guys. So, I wanted to come back on here and refresh the energy a little bit, guys. Alright. I did a Halloween series. Okay. Um... You guys might want to go ahead and check that out. It's called The Sad Note. Okay. It's a little series for Halloween. I posted for you guys. There are three parts. One, two, and three to the Sad Note series. And that is basically about sad notes that I take from time to time when I do readings. Through the readings this week, I took a sad note on some things that I noticed that's been happening with you guys that's been happening with you guys and it has been fluctuating throughout the weeks of the reading especially in you guys' love messages so I decided to take notes sad notes right and I wanted to elaborate on what the freak was going on with y'all and damn it Y'all, it was deep. It got real deep. Y'all got a lot of shit going on. We all go through things and it gets deep like that. So I felt like we would do a sequel. So welcome to your Halloween sequel. <laughs> so I will be doing two parts of the sequel. We're going to switch up the energy. We're going to transmute the energy. The first part will be messages from your divine masculine to the divine feminine. Yes. The person you clicked on this video for. The person that you want to know about. We're going to go ahead and start and pull some messages. Alright. From your divine masculine. Okay. Keep in mind. Divine masculine is energy. So I could also be talking to the same sex relationships. Only take the part that resonates and leave the rest that spiritual nourishment is for whoever else is in the building. If you need something more personal to your situation, guys, I'm open and available for booking. Everything you need to know is in the description box below. I do one, two, and three question readings as well. All right. If you need me, you know where to find me in the description box below. <laughs> okay, guys. So I thought it would be cool to come on here and give you a sequel. See what's going on with you and your person. We're going to start part one. These are messages from the Divine Masculine. And let's see what he wants to say to you. Almighty, beautiful universe and Holy Spirit. When it comes to the beautiful collective. What messages do you have from their divine masculines? Mes messages from the divine masculine? Messages from the divine masculine. What messages do we have from the divine masculine to their divine feminines? What is going on? Let's see. All right. So, we have, I don't know why the forces were against us. There are a lot of soulmate twin flame energy. I feel as though also there could have been a lot of hating, a lot of talk, gossip, you know, against you guys' relationship. I also feel like people don't want to see you together with the person that you're with, okay? Or that you're here for, okay? I messed up and I know that, okay? So the Divine Masculine knows he messed up. He knows he made some mistakes. I do feel as though this person wants redemption. I hate how I treated you. What I say, you remind me of who I truly am. All right? And those are like... You know, you guys are like mirror images of each other. Like I said, that soulmate twin flame, you know, energy. And I feel like sometimes facing you is facing yourself. And that could be hard and challenging. So, yes, they cheat. They take the easy way out and regret. And now they're, you know, dealing with some karma shit, right? I feel like you will always be a missed opportunity with the freak that I just say. Thank you, spirit. Boom. I could never resist you. You are like an angel. And that's what I'm saying. So I don't feel like you necessarily did anything specifically wrong. I just feel like your person here. This one popped. I have always known you are the one for me. So for some of you guys, this is someone from your past. And that's what I'm saying. I just feel like, like your person knows that it was some of the mistakes they made. And I'm saying that you guys are perfect. But like, 
I just feel like this person may have took things to the next level. All right. And that tends to happen or some, this could be you keeping mind the energies could be vice versa, but these are messages from the divine masculine. And you know, like I said, I need you back in my life again. I need you in my life again. I will always love you. The death of love is new to me. Okay? This death of love is new new to me. All right? So, like, your death of love is different. It's new. It's Cosmo. All right? That's what I heard. Cosmos. Yeah. Right? Y'all got that cosmic energy. I am so lonely without you. I denied my feelings for you. Again, look what's on the top of the deck. Okay? So this person, like I said, they did reject their feelings from you. you. They resisted it, okay? Like, you know, I like I said, I feel like you, they were intimidated by you. You remind them of their self, okay? Like, especially for you guys that are twins here, okay? In this card, thank you, Spirit. I have loved you along, um, all along. So this person has all know they love you. I feel like you know this too. But all along, this person has loved you. I feel like they're hiding this from you now. I feel like it's really over. I feel like you put a spell on me. I'm obsessed. So for some of you guys, like I said, it's that cosmic as energy. All right. So they feel like you put a spell on them. Also, you got to understand spell work is different levels of energy that gives you the ability to manifest. You could be thinking, um, writing. Okay. So you could be thinking about this person a lot you know putting that out in the universe all right and this one wanted to pop i am very attracted to you so this person definitely doesn't want to let you go here i am excited by just the thought of you i'm gonna tell you what i'm getting here i feel like just that i thought of you this person like gets turned on this person might even get you know sexually aroused and could do some things in their quiet time <laughs> to their selves, if you know what I mean, by the thought of you. I feel like that energy is real passionate, real fire. You could be a fire sign, okay? So let's see what we have here for you guys from the Divine Masculine. All right. They want you to definitely hear them out. For some of you guys, they're sorry for fucking around on you and dealing with cutthroat ass bitches. I just had to say it. They are. And they know they had you in third-party relationships. And some of you guys, they want justice. They want their empress back. Almighty, beautiful universe and holy spirits. Can we get more? Look, they know they spent some time away. Three of Wands, Aries energy. But they are ready to reconcile with you and sit down. I'm here in conversation with you. Reach out to you. Okay. And give you some kind of truth here. Almighty, beautiful universe and holy spirits. Messages from the divine masculine. To the divine feminine. Ooh. What do they want to say? Messages from the divine masculine to the divine feminine. What do they want their divine feminine to know? We have three of ones again. They're watching you as well for a lot of you guys. For a lot of you guys, you could be talking to someone from out of town that lives out of town that's at some kind of distance from you. Also, someone could be from a different like ethnic background. But this person is coming towards you. And I feel like they know they also have been, you know, away for some time now. There's definitely distance here. And they want to come towards you. But they feel like your guard is up and you're going to cut them off. Also, they, I also feel as though this person, your person and feels like they know this time you're not putting up with the bullshit they've been watching you okay they have been reflecting on some things and they have been thinking about you and dreaming of you as well some of you guys definitely could be a single parent here Okay, this person, as you said, they know you're longing. They know that you're missing for for um missing them. We have Aries, Libra, and we have Scorpio out here so far. I feel like they know that they disappointed you here, okay? But they're coming. They know it's been some time away, but they've been thinking and strategizing here with how to come toward you here. Five is also about change. Four also represents material achievement. So they could also be working on their money here. Three is dynamic. Oh, excuse me, guys. You know, um, 
When I get the channeling, I get the burping in. Three is about um 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 dynamic and partnership. Okay, so they could be working on our money and things of that nature, so they can make some boss. Boss moves towards you is what I'm hearing. So let's check it out here. We have the Page of Pentacles. Their person is slow as hell, but they want to make you an offer, point blank, period. I feel like both of you guys want to sit down and have a talk here. And I feel like you guys just need to kind of go ahead and do that. All right, here um, is also what I am feeling. Okay, you just need to go ahead and have this talk. All right, but this person is holding back, okay? Right now, I feel like this person just doesn't feel like it's the right time, okay? And I'm going to tell you why, because you're in your masculine energy as well, mm-hmm. And it, it, it's both of you guys are in the masculine energy, and that's why this person, you know, you're in the Queen of Swords. The Queen of Swords is also in the masculine energy. She's cutthroat. She, you know, you might be, um, they're scared that you're going to be argumentative towards them, say some shit, okay? As soon as I said that, we got the Knight of Swords. <laughs> what else? So you guys need to talk out, and I feel like that's exactly what I was just talking about. I feel like you need to, um, you know, lighten up. All right. And what I mean by that, I'm not blaming you for anything. Um, the man film, what I mean is when this person comes back in contact with you, just, you know, talk softer. You know what I mean? Be a little bit more flirt is, um, flirt. Yeah. Flirt. Be lighthearted. You know, hi, I'm glad you caught me. How you doing? What's up with you? Okay. I've been wanting to talk to you, you know, that kind of thing. All right, the sun card. Yes, see, and I, but I, I, I feel as though that you guys will be successful with this person. Now I'm going to say this because it's here, okay? And what did I say? Queen of Swords energy. Get out of that Queen of Swords energy. Now, the Queen of Swords is also someone who stands in their truth and say what they mean and mean what they say. And this could be intimidating to this person, all right? But some of you guys step out of that masculine energy and you can still be assertive when you speak in your Queen Feminine Swords. Like, you know, well, I didn't like that. I didn't like, you know, how that made me feel felt you know you kept me waiting with the three of ones i see that energy here you know i was waiting for you you know you know all those things so i'm also getting and seeing that guys okay so let's pull from this deck and see what else we got tell me more about the four swords and what they have been doing okay so they thought about um how they deceived you here with false person and a gift i feel like this person realized that you were someone of um value and they didn't treat you of that they didn't treat you of um put you in that category here and they're regretting it and i feel like this is why they're watching you i feel like this person is definitely watching you they want to come forward with you they really really do here yeah see five sad news right i feel like sad news is this person also realizing this okay um and i'm seeing five of cups here i feel like that's also you Okay, because you coming out as the Five of Cups, which is also, you know, someone who is disappointed, you know, sad. And look, that's crazy because you have the same colors on. Like, this in this picture, you're cloaked. This is you just, you know. Some of you guys um, could have also got some sad news that you didn't like about this person here. But I do see this person wanting to give you some kind of apology. So let's see. What is going on with the Four Swords here? Um, you could be talking to... Um, I'm seeing everybody's here. There's nobody that's not here. What, um, yeah. Air's here. Gemini, Virgo, Aries, Taurus, Libra, all water signs. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, all earth signs is here. Aries is here. Leo, everybody's here. Capricorn. Okay. Give me more. There's four swords. Four swords. Thank you. Yep. Okay, this person is realizing what I say, the good Lord in his thoughts. That you were someone that was fated in their life. Look, a rich girl abundance you were their good luck charm and they disappointed you all right that's also what i'm getting yep they might have felt like tutus about um partnership and connection 
They could also, some of you guys could be seeing 2 2 or need to look up the angel full number of 2 2 2. But they could have felt like they should have dealt with things wrong. Maybe they were too militant on the way they thought about things as well. It's also what I'm picking up here. Let's look at you for a second with the Five of Cups spirit. Why is that here? Tell me more. Okay. Yep. I feel like you are in your abundance. I see there's a lot of luck coming in for you film too. Because you're putting it into shit that no longer freaking serves you. And I don't blame you. Occupation. You've been healing and working on yourself. Period. And you are tired of being shortchanged. Period. Looking a lot of money. As I say that. And that's you being shortchanged. I think that. Look. That's you. Doing you. Coming up. Feeling good about yourself, getting your hair done, looking better, being better, seeing better. That's why this person is watching you. Give me more on the Four of Pentacles. Why is the Four of Pentacles here? See, they're holding back. Look, boom. I said what I said. Um, there is a they, a court is in reverse. Some somebody here could also be going through some legal matters here. Okay, um, I I did I do see that here. Okay, some of these people could be um dealing with that, but as well um they do realize the connection and there is some kind of soul contract. The courthouse is also some kind of um soul contract here, and their whole and they recognize that with you here, and they do want to um meet with you and speak with you but however with the four of pentacles they're holding back four fours here they're holding back they're not telling you this period for some of you guys they know that they need to speak with you or you're the person like they know like damn this is like the kind of person that i wanted to be with i've been kind of wanting this person for some time now look expectations as i'm saying this and look at her beautiful sexy abundant you know, and this is, and now you're here. And what, you know, they're like, you know, how do I move forward, forward here is what I'm saying. Give me more on this King of Wands here. Also, there's a lot of offers here. This person could, you know, notice that you have offers or a, a lot of people that find you attractive. This part, part wanted to pop out. Yeah, because you're abundant, a rich girl. Some of you guys, shit, got money, a long road and change. Yes, you've been on a long road road you've been changing yourself yeah 12 breaking down to a three partnerships is coming in for some of you guys you're starting new things okay give me more on this rich girl expectation and here you are again doing you i can't make this shit up and for some of you guys this is a little bit intimidating to this person okay um give me um what what is this line of swords what is he engaging to thank you spirit Look, boom, in reverse. This person wants to change the way you think about them. Look, the house, they want to come over and talk to you. Look, militant. militant. This person knows that you might think that they... I, 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 I have an ego. This is a masculine energy that you're connected with that got maybe like some kind of ego or maybe that you might see them as this militant person. I feel like they want to prove you wrong. I feel like they want to let you know that they can love and be open to this kind of love with you, though. And they want to reach out to you. Some For some of you guys, they want to come to your house. Because you're the good luck lady. Alright. Give me um, more on that energy. We're going to pull a little bit from um, this deck. Here. Look, what I tell you. Settle in in family. With you though. Okay. Almighty, beautiful universe and holy spirits. Tell me more about this. Sun card. For some of you guys, I'm going to let you know that baby energy is here. This person could see you as someone they want to start a family with, build a family with, or shit, get pregnant. You might not see this coming, honey. But look, I'm going to tell you what this is, too. They do see that um, this is how they can get you stuck. They know you don't play no games. They know you stand in your truth. You speak your truth, and you mean it, goddammit. So this is... And they don't want to... They, they, they just can't see themselves without you, so why not want to get you pregnant? Why not just, you know, solidify the deal here, okay? I feel like um, that could be for some of you guys. It is here. For some of you guys, you could also be meant to have a baby with this person. The sun card. Ooh. Yep. 
a new perspective. They want to also establish a new foundation of friendship with you. They're looking at things different. The way, um, how, what they want in their life and how they want to um, be in life with a partner, with someone like you. I also feel like um, they learned some lessons here. And again, this connection could have scared them. Okay, also because, like I said, you um mean and say what you mean and mean what you say kind of energy. And they know, and they don't want you to pop off on them. All right, okay. And what did I say? They're watching you, okay. They are definitely keeping an eye on you because they know that you are their lady. That's a song I'm hearing right now. Like, that's my lady. Like, when this person sees you, or even if they're watching you from a social media page, I feel like when they scroll past your picture, it's like they say that to themselves. Or like, that's my baby. You know, kind of shit. That's what I'm getting as well. Yep, but it's complicated. And anything worth having is never easy, okay? But if there is some... Comp look, what the... F oh my gosh, thank you, spirit. Look, soulmate and life partner. They know exactly... That you are that person. And this person is being tipped it and got it towards you. The temptation is too strong. That's, they're going to reach out. So, let's see. The chariot. Tell me more about the chariot. Yep. You're the person of their dreams. For some of you guys, this person is dreaming of you. I already said that at the beginning of this reading. I feel like you guys are dreaming of each other. Okay, you also could be seeing this person in your dreams. Yep, because they're pulling on your energy. So you guys could be dreaming of each other. Yep, decision options. Okay? Because this person is deciding to come towards you. So you're feeling this also energetically here. Yep. Point blank period. That's just what it is. They're coming. Some of you guys know this intuitively. They want to offer you some kind of apology. What is the Knight of Cups, please? The Knight of Cups. Thank you. Oh my y'all. You know what? I just love it. I love it so much. <sighs> Boom! I said what I said. Apology in reverse. I feel like this person feels like you owe them an apology as well. Like you hurt them. Like they could say that. Like, look, I know we hurt each other. You hurt me. I hurt you. I'm sorry. You know what I'm saying? They possibly want you to say the same thing. I want you. I know you want me. I want to be together kind of shit. What we going through? Let's get this shit. Let's get it going. I'm sick of, you know, you not being around. What we going to do? What, what, what's, what is it? What you want? Tell me what you want. What you want from me? How can I make this better? Okay? Finances could be affecting it, them because they're with a karmic fucking partner. Okay, or they're sick of dealing with um, a car I mean, some of these masculines um, films are going through issues. Uh, some of you guys go towards that reading, the Halloween series that I posted. One, two, and three. All right. So let's see what's going on with this page of pentacles. This person is moving very, very slow. Yep. See, this person is acting cold towards you. But they can't stop thinking about how they're going to move. Look, boundaries in third party. So they got you in a third party situation. Point blank period. And it's toxic. So they're trying to figure out how to deal with this before they even come towards you. I feel like this person is just over a lot of toxicity when it comes in their relationships in general, period. And they want to end third party relationships in general. I feel like they genuinely want to like try to have a real ass relationship. I don't feel like a lot of these masculines like ever really had a genuine connection, a genuine relationship. And when we talk about lessons, Saturn, I always say, um, it is the energy when I see that. And I'm going to tell you why. Saturn is about love le lessons and life lessons. Some of you guys look up Saturn and what Saturn teaches us about. So when you have your first Saturn return, it takes Saturn 28 to 30 something years ago around the sun. So these are men that have learned a lot of life lessons films when it comes to relationships the way they do relationships the way they want to be in a relationship the way they even view a relationship i believe perspective came out here earlier okay and they're just seeing things from a different perspective here okay and they also see you 
Okay, and that's what I'm getting. But they know uh, to really have this life partnership that they're gathered towards you because they know that you're your soulmate. They got to leave these motherfucking thoughty annas alone. That's just what it is. But I see them in this Ace of Pentacles energy towards you film. So let's get into that. The um, Ace of Pentacles spirit. Can you tell me more about that, please? Tell me more about the Ace of Pentacles. Oh, what did I say? Thank you, spirit. Change. That's what they want. They want a change, a change in life. A new tree, a new leaf. Some of these masculines wants to turn over a new leaf with you. Look, competition. What the? You see that? They know. Boom. They know. They're tired of karmic ass. Community pussy. That's just what the fuck it is. I'm sorry. That's what they is. They're tired of it. They're tired of the toxicity. They're done with that. They want to come home. You're home to them. Period. They know this. I think you know this. Right, inner child. Thank you, spirit. Yes, y'all both know this, but you're not saying this to each other. But you know this intuitively. Your soulmates. One more thing. Tell me more about this Queen of Swords. Queen of Swords, spirit. Queen of Swords. Who is the... Triggered. Triggered in marriage. Distance in longing. See, this is the thing. This is the person, and I'm telling you guys, like I said, they had you in a freaking third-party relationship for some of you guys. You know I'm going to keep it real on spiritual nourishment. Look at the series for Halloween. This is the sequel. This is the Halloween sequel. All right? They know they did, but they, they, they don't want that. They want you. They're tired of the toxic ass. This is a karmic. I want you to see this. That's exactly who this is. That's who they're that's what kind of relationships they have been in. They have been married in. Period. This is it. But see, they know deep down the side that you're their real person. And for some of you guys, this person that they're with also know that this masculine is ready to leave. Queen of Swords is a divorcee. Yes, thank you, Spirit, the Queen of Wands. <gasps> and the Nine of Cups because they want, and what I say, the Ten of Swords and the Strength card, they want you. They're Queen of Wands. You're their Queen of Wands. Black Cat, that's the secret. And they know it. And they can't deny it. However, right now, yep, they're putting on the front. I can't stand when men do that. Because they got all this goddamn drama in their life. Look, and look what slid out the hangman and the seven of pentacles that they've been invested in and that they're stuck with all this freaking drama in their life. So, yeah, that's 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 why another reason why they've been acting distance and cold towards you. Point blank point, period. All right, guys. So, they're longing for you. I feel like this person is extremely triggered as well at this time. And I'm going to tell you why. Because the distance is killing them. I just heard I can't take it anymore. Damn, my air is itching. This person can't take it anymore. The distance between you guys. So let's pull some time in on this. And we'll pull a spirit message, and that will be the reading from the Divine Masculine, Almighty, Beautiful Universe, and Holy Spirits. Look, they want you to believe in them again, but some of them don't believe it's the right time because they all this shit. That's why. That's it. It is what it is, guys. I said what the freak I said, and y'all already know, child. It's because of all the fuckery. The five of ones. That's just what it is. All the fuckery. So right now, that's why they're watching you. They're paying attention. Because they want to know how to come forward towards you. And when they get ready to make this move towards you. 
Almighty, beautiful universe and Holy Spirit. Can I get some time in on this? When will this man's going to make the move towards the divine feminine? Well, when will the divine masculine make their move towards the divine feminine? Can I get some time in on that? When will the divine masculine make their move towards their divine feminine? Ooh, big happy changes is coming in. So I feel like there's, you know, this person is actually in the making of this right now. Okay. And what else do we have? Romance in reverse. Yes. Like I said, they're in the making. They don't want you to know that they're secretly still romancing on you because there has been a lot of distance between you guys. I'm seeing that for, um, I'm see, I see it. Okay. But this person has plans. Yep, success. Thank you, spirit. I can't make it up. And they want you, again, to believe in them. All right? Because they want a peaceful resolution and not the right time and choose a new direction. Yeah, because they're strategically planning a new way to communicate with you and come towards you because they know they fucked up. Period. And they know right now might not just be the right time because they want this peaceful resolution with you. And they want it to be peaceful. Like I said, some of you guys are in your masculine form, your masculine energy, and that could be a little intimidating. So they're waiting. They're plotting, right? Okay. Now, let's pull a spirit message, guys, and let's see what messages spirit have has for you and what they want you to leave on okay the ancestors are here guiding you guys we have polar bear okay and eight here so some of you guys definitely have abundance coming in eight is navigation spots prosperity and authority for a lot of you guys you know you could have been going through also some um financial issues but i feel like those things could be coming at to, to it and yes yeah, snake ass energy here okay i feel like you're coming out of that though okay abundance um you are coming into right now um i also feel like um you know what like i said fears here in hy hyena i feel like um you might have had to you know go through some horseshit polar bear again but i feel like you're coming out of that energy so let's see here yep will and trigger I feel like some things are triggering you. I've had triggered you, especially, you know, dealing with a lot of these energies that you have been dealing with when it comes to your relationships and partnerships. Almighty, beautiful universe and Holy Spirits when it comes to the beautiful collective. What spirit message do you have? And what would you like them to know? Give a spirit message for me. Whoa, thank you. So we have, yep. And look, ancestors, they're right here. Some of you guys have a nose piercing. Some of you guys uh, um, could be talking to someone out of town. I was picking up on that earlier as well. Um, India could be specific. Okay, you could wear, um, you know, the um, dots on your forehead. Um, you know, I know, that's a spiritual meaning. I'm not exactly sure what that means. Okay, so I could be talking to... Um, someone that's from a distance out of town but i see you in your ocean energy and your fruition is also coming in the ancestors are guiding you they're keeping you strong because transformation is here okay i feel like this person is also guided towards you because at this time this person also um feels like like that soulmate energy, your your soulmate. I feel like the ancestors are also helping with this soulmate energy because you might have been, like I said, some of you guys were supposed to even have a baby with this person. Like you know, and this person know y'all are supposed to be together. It's undeniable. Happiness and dolphin. What did I say? And what the freak is in this card? Oh my god. Pregnancy. For some of you guys, pregnancy is real strong here. You're definitely supposed to have a baby. This person wants to have a baby with you. They want to build a legacy with you. Plank blank hair and re re um, reliability and go. For some of you guys, like I said earlier, they're coming to get your ass pregnant, honey. They is coming to get your ass pregnant because they don't want you to go nowhere. They don't. And they do. They want to build with you. They want to build a family with you here. And ritual. Uh-huh. Bison. Uh-huh. And like I said, with spell work, I don't feel as though... Um, it's not, you know, there's many levels to it. Like I said, you know, this person could be thinking this, okay? You know, thinking about writing you, okay? Um, thinking is the ability to manifest, okay? Um, 
you know, speaking this, you know, like, dang, I miss this person. I can't, that's putting that out in the universe, right? I don't see no candle, dark magic, or anything like that here, okay? Um, Because, you know, if I did, I will call it. That's my job, and that's what I do, guys, but I don't see that here. All right? Okay, films, that's what I have for you, feminine energy, when it comes to your divine masculine at this time. I felt like that was necessary. This is the sequel. That ends it. Okay. Happy Halloween to all of you guys. Remain safe. If I resonated with you in any kind of way, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the channel. Hit the notification bell. Make sure you guys are hitting all so you can get all content that I release and you don't miss a beat, guys. Okay? If you would like to make a donation, you can do that as well. Everything you need to know is below so we can grow and build. I love you guys and I will catch you in your next video upload. Ashe.